Perfect. People need to pay attention to things like that, and it, it's it's not as simple to pick up. But clean slate here. Casca's Angels versus Super Frogs. If Super Frogs can get the momentum, they may be able to book their ticket to BlizzCon. I believe Chanimo was the last North American team to win BlizzCon for quite some time at this point, and he's got to be the last hope here. If he can win this series, he'll be taking that third spot going to BlizzCon. He's forced to switch over to that balanced route specialization. Warlock not in the best position for him to really make it work. Let's see what Chanimo can get done. I think this is a really good composition for them. I mean, they're going to win the long game. Milkman, when he pushes in, they're putting a lot of pressure on him. I really like that. Punish Milkman. He's very susceptible to magic damage. Wealthy Man putting out a whole bunch of bursts, but in the meantime, also taking quite a bit himself. Milkman gets locked out. Chanimal still all over him, looking for the Cyclone, but it seems like Cyfoxy and Dilly looking for the counter pressure onto Wealthy Man. He stabilizes HP. Milkman should be fine out of this. The Ray of Frost gets channeled out. There's a full stun, and now Milkman finally in a position where he can breathe a little bit with this Raptor to top himself off. He's trying to recover. Interesting that Super Frogs are actually going after the Discipline Priest. Usually a Mage and a Balanced Druid, you'd expect them to crowd control the healer and attack one of the damage dealers. So they're trying to catch Milkman off guard by going on him. It's a bit of a peculiar target, but they managed to at least pull Rapture from him. I would like them to maybe switch back to a more standard strategy unless Milkman exposes himself in midfield. This Polymorph on Milkman is a good opportunity for Channel and Wealthy Man to develop pressure on a different target, but their damage is just lackluster at best in this position. Yep, Milkman getting swapped to once again. At least Super Frogs is defending Cubsy from incoming uh, fears from Milkman. He really has to think twice. He gets interrupted there, Solar Beam as well. And now he's in a position where it's going to be difficult for him to push. There's a full trap on a Cubsy. He uses the adaptation out of that. Wealthy Man uses a nice temporal shield as well, should be able to stabilize. You know, honestly, Casca's Angels, they've been doing a good job, but Super Frogs, if they just live, I think they end up having the mana advantage. Maybe it's pretty mm. even at this point. It feels like it's pretty even. Anytime Milkman gets polymorphed, he has an opportunity to drop combat regen mana and not spend any on any spells. So maybe they could run him out of mana just by attacking him, but Milkman's playing smart here. He's spamming Smite, and he's using Schism, which is very mana efficient to boost the damage of your damage abilities to provide healing to your team through Atonement. So if he plays that way and doesn't spam out Shadow Mans, he can out mana the Shaman. Dark Archangel attempt here. Crowd control secured. Wealthy Man's in trouble, dipping low. They were not expecting, I think, to be this far behind. Casca's Angel's pressure is starting to sink in. Milkman gets polymorphed away, but he pre-barriered. Unfortunately, Cyfox is actually leaving the protection of that shield to try and chase down the mage, forcing a temporal shield and a potential ice block if they want to race against it, but I don't think they have enough damage to do so. Mana tied at this point is anyone's match. Yeah, I like what Casca's Angels is doing. They're doing a sort of a split strategy. Cyfoxy puts bleeds up on Wealthy Man, Dillypoo as well. Both of them have a lot of raw oh! potential, but Milkman in so much trouble. Rapture, Pain Suppression gets used. Wealthy Man blinks in, looking for an Ebon Bolt, potentially onto Cyfox. He gets some burst out. Milkman, he really has to think twice every time he gets out of that pillar. As soon as that Frozen Orb gets dropped, he is not getting away from that unless Dilly can throw out a freedom on him, and that might be something that Dilly looks to do. Incarnation is up in 20 seconds for Chanimal. It's a deadly spell. Casca's Angels have no answer for it. All Channel has to do is stall. So he's using Cyclones to control Cyfoxy, stall out the fight, wait for that opportunity. The slightly light blue bar below Channel, that's Astral Power. He can spend that on hard-hitting spells. So he needs to build that up to full, save it, use the Incarn when it's up in one more second, and just power down either Cyfoxy or Milkman. Right now they're trying to bait Milkman to go into the middle of the map by pulling back. Channel pulls the trigger on the Incarnation. They got Milkman slightly out in center field, but not enough to really take him down. And now Wealthy Man's actually in the back foot. Luckily, Temporal Shield was perfectly timed. He bounces back this incarnation not really developing the pressure that channel really needed to get done with it i would have liked to see them go after cyfoxy with milkman playing so far in the back but unfortunately channel's not getting anything done with this and mana is still tied at this point dark archangel pop for milkman his team's trying to make a move taking out channel potentially here he's gonna bark skin deny the kill at this point still anyone's match Yes, yeah, Cyfoxy seems to be the target of choice, but a full Cyclone will deny that. Milkman gets interrupted. That was a full trap onto Cubsy. Wealthy Man and Channel has been rotting low this entire game, and Cubsy's been having to spend huge amounts of mana to keep them stable in this matchup. Uh, it seems like everyone should be fine except Channels. Luckily, Cubsy's there to throw out some heals. He's going to be fine. And now Dilly and Cyfoxy, they're playing defense for Milkman once again. Wealthy Man, he wants to get aggressive, but they're not allowing him to do so. All right, Milkman's actually ahead on mana. They can start forcing ice blocks now from Wealthy Man, although the pressure is in favor of Super Frogs. Counter spells secured. Wealthy Man's counter spells have been insane throughout this tournament, really putting enemy teams behind. Nice timed Cyclone here by Channel. Cyfox is not going to get healed inside of that. Then they get a Polymorph on Milkman. Great crowd control. Cyfox is forced to retreat. Channel moves in to try and finish him off, but Cyfox preemptively activates defensive cooldowns to survive. Very unlikely, 
Maybe it's possible that he does in this position. He gets life grip, but Ray of Frost is being fully channeled. Cybox is pinned down. He's ducking for cover. Milkman's mana has now evened out as the pressure is starting to mount for the Super Frogs. All the momentum, multiple interrupts. Milkman can't handle it. Polymorph is secured, and Cybox, he falls. Super Frogs claim game number one. And this is the com one of the comps that you were potentially asking for here. You said you wanted to see Channel on the Moonkin, and we get to see it now. Matter if it's blind, it doesn't matter if they have the comp pick advantage. They're just favored. This is a big one for Casca's Angels. They need to tie up the series here. Yeah, Milkman pushing in. He actually gets sapped. Maybe they want to open on Milkman. Uh, looks like a flare is going to be coming in from Dilly. Wealthy Man's going to be looking to deny the opener the best he can. Gets the resap onto Milkman. Garrote onto Cy Foxy. And now a cheap shot on Dilly. So Wealthy Man really just controlling everyone up. There's the full blind on the Milkman. Still has a kidney shot available. They could commit it on Milkman if they wanted to and look for an all-in. Would be a little bit risky, but definitely uh, something they could potentially take advantage of. Kidney shot, Solar Beam denies the Discipline Priest from using any. There, they're going to do it. This is an all-in on Milkman as they look to claim game number two. Will they be able to support Milkman enough to survive the stun lock? Oh. Wombo combo doesn't look to be the case. Super Frogs all in. Game number two, one game away from BlizzCon. Well, you were right about that three-minute thing. <laughs> that was about three seconds, actually. Super Frogs, it, this could be the map that Super Frogs qualify for BlizzCon all and truthfully, it seems like it would be a fitting final resting place as Runes of Lordran is a cemetery. Will Dilly's dreams of BlizzCon be dug into the grave by the Super Frogs? Or will he find a way to reverse sweep? This is all or nothing for Casca's Angels. Wealthy Man opening up once again playing defense. There's a full kidney shot on the side Foxy. Blind on Milkman. He trinkets out, but there's no kidney shot available just yet. So he's going to be safe for a little while. It seems like Super Frogs are changing their strategy up a little bit. They just want to deny the opener from Casca's Angels. Milkman could be in some trouble, though. Wealthy Man already sort of buttering him up here with the rupture, with the garrote, getting his damage ready. And Milkman is scared. He is terrified. That barrier was used in response to no cooldowns from the Super Frogs. You can tell Casca's Angels are sweating. Let's see if the Super Frogs can punish that. They're going to gun down Milkman in the opener. He paints the pressions, predicting a solar beam, wants to get that up as soon as possible. Wealthy Man still has not used Vendetta. The next kidney shot could easily close the game. The Wealthy Man is just going to gun down the healer. They've got a 2-0 lead. They can afford to do risky moves like training the healer. Milkman's got all the pressure put on him. Cubsy in the freezing trap. Casca's Angels have an opportunity to swing back. They've got decent pressure right now on two members. They need this kill, but there's the swap. Silence kidney shot. Nothing that Milkman can do. He needs his team to help him. He gets out of the silence, catches a heal. Channel now on the back foot. Cubsy having a hard time dealing with it. Pops Ascendance. It's a race to the finish. Milkman's still under fire. Star Surge is coming in, and that's going to be it. Super Frogs are going to BlizzCon. So insane to see as well. I mean, it, it all starts with these teams that maybe we don't know as well to starting to set up this scenario. And if, if I it is for North America to be fielding the teams that they're fielding, we kind of have the war of the best going on in the upper final. That's going to be the Gosu Crew versus Method Orange. And I feel like this is just a matchup that we have seen 10 jillion times already this year. I forget what the map count actually was in last week's cup, but it was somewhere in the area. Feed versus the fake Zebras were all tied up. One and one. Who is going to find themselves on match point? Who is going to get a little bit further into this tournament? Keep in mind, folks, we're doing a brand new thing. You have just entered in the middle of history the longest series that has ever been played in Battle for Azeroth.